Hi, my name is Karen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my new mini series, Money Talks. You know how much I love mini series. <laughs> In this series, I'm going to discuss with you the money side of being a YouTuber and being a content creator online. I will share helpful ways to earn money and break down the myths of how much money YouTubers really make. Back when I first joined the YouTube Partner Program in 2012, there was a rule that you were not allowed to disclose your earnings. It seems that rule is no longer part of the YouTube Partner Program. <laughs> so in this video, I would like to compare two sets of earnings to two very similarly viral videos that I had. The first video was Shy Irish Girl Say uploaded in January 2012. And the second video was the Why I Didn't Wear My Say Yes to the Dress Dress video. <laughs> uploaded in November 2018. The trajectory of both videos is very similar. Both got a similar amount of views in their first month. Both had a massive first 10 days and leveled off around day 11. And both have continued to gain views to this day. I think it's really important that we discuss the earnings from these videos in relation to two things. First, how much was made on the initial virality of the video, the first month's earnings. Secondly, how much has been made from the video in its lifetime? There are other factors to consider here as well. When I published the Say Yes to the Dress video, I had a backlog of existing work. That meant that the people that watched that video had other videos of me recommended to them and other videos of me available to watch once they had finished with that video. The Say Yes to the Dress video had the opportunity to up the channel watch time, thereby bumping up the earnings for the channel for the entire month and driving more subscribers overall. Shad Irish Girl Say didn't really have that back catalogue as it was one of my earlier videos, so it didn't have that opportunity. The Shad Irish Girl Say video was also a once-off sketch, so it didn't have the potential for follow-up and it wasn't in any way similar to anything I'd done before. The Say Yes to the Dress video was a story time video, so there are other videos on my channel in a similar style, there were other videos on my channel about Say Yes to the Dress, and it had the opportunity for more follow-up, so I followed it up the week after with a video about why I bought my wedding dress on Etsy. Let's throw out the figures everyone is waiting for, and then we can sit down and explain why. Shout Irish Girl Say actually got more views in its first month than the Say Yes to the Dress video, but it made a lot less money. In the first month, Shout Irish Girl Say got 820,000 views, and the Say Yes to the Dress video got 740,000 views. In that initial month, after published, Shout Irish Girl Say earned 367 euro. In the first month after publish, the Say Yes to the Dress video earned 3,774 euros. An important caveat here is that I'm talking in overall figures here. So Google does take 45% of that revenue generated. So in the first month, I took home 129 euro from Shy Irish Girl Say and 2,170 euro from the Say Yes to the Dress video. Another important caveat to add is that at the time in 2018, I was working a full-time job. So I did pay, I believe it's 42% tax in Ireland on that amount, leaving me with a grand total of 1,258 euros and 60 cents made on the Say Yes to the Dress video. In the lifetime of the videos, I have made 354 euros and 34 cents total from Shite Irish Girl Say, and I've made 3,507 euro and 10 cent from the Say Yes to Dress video. That is a lifetime of eight years for Shite Irish Girl Say, and just over 18 months for the Say Yes to Dress video. Because I like to torture myself with this stuff, if you click through, you can see that the Say Yes to Dress video in its lifetime has actually generated over 6,000 euros in ad revenue. But again, Google takes 45% of that. So a number of factors played into the differing earnings of these two videos. The first big factor is that when Shout Irish Girls Say went viral, I was not a member of the YouTube Partner Program. At the time, you needed to apply and you needed a minimum of a thousand subscribers or one million views in order to be approved. However, when Shout Irish Girls Say started to go viral, they did enable monetization on that one video alone, but I missed out on the first 150,000 to 200,000 views before that was enabled. So let's sit down and dig in quickly on ad types, traffic sources, and audience demographics, all factors that come together to decide how much money a video can make you. So first of all, ad type. So when Shout Irish Girls Say went viral, not only were the first 150 to 200,000 views not monetized, but there were actually less ad types available and premium did not exist. So therefore there was less ways in which to monetize that video. 
Interestingly, Shy Irish Girls Say did make more money in its lifetime on display ads than the Say Yes to the Dress video. However, the Say Yes to the Dress video made way more money on skippable ads. The TLDR is that there were different types of ads available in 2012 versus 2018. The next is traffic sources. For Shout Irish Girls Say, a lot of the traffic came from external recommendations, i.e. that the video was shared on a website or another platform that drove people through to watch it. It went viral in the biblical sense. Articles were written about it on various different websites and that's what they mean when they talk about external recommendations. The Say Yes Address video never went viral. It got the majority of its views from recommended videos. When Shout Irish Girls Say was published, the recommended bar on the right hand side of YouTube main wasn't as big a factor in driving views. So the change in where traffic comes from and the fact that the Say Yes Address video was driving traffic within the site could have played a big part there in how well these videos monetized. Audience demographics. As I mentioned, both these videos went viral similarly in terms of how many views they got in a specified period of time after upload. However, the major difference between these two videos is the audience demographics. The Say Yes to the Dress video has a majority female American audience between the ages of 18 to 34. That is a massive factor in how much money that video earned. From my experience working in marketing and advertising, women in the 25 to 34 age bracket are the most desirable demographic for advertisers. And that is because they are considered to have the most disposable income. Colloquially, it also seems to me in my experience that the American audience is the most lucrative on YouTube. It seems to me that I would make more money from a video that has American advertisers and American audiences than I would from one that has Irish advertisers and Irish audiences. However, again, that is colloquial and I'd be happy to do a video digging into that and seeing if my theory is correct or incorrect in another video. A 98% plus female American audience in the most coveted age bracket meant that the Say Yes to the Dress video had a very high CPM. A CPM is cost per meal out, which means the amount of money you make per thousand views on the platform. TLDR, USA, USA. The lifetime earnings of the videos. Following the same trend as the short term earnings, Shout Irish Girls Say has made a lot less money on the platform over its lifetime than the Say Yes to Dress video, even though the Shout Irish Girls Say video is six years older. 354 euro compared to 3,507 euro. Those are the figures that I made from those two videos over their lifetimes, not Google's figures. So that's a breakdown on how much money I was paid for a viral video in 2012 versus a viral video in 2018. But I do think it's important to note that while one video may have massively underperformed in terms of revenue generated, that video brought a lot of viewers to my channel at a key stage in my channel growth, the very start. I know that in Ireland, eight years later, I'm still known for the Shite Irish Girl Save video. So it can't be underestimated how important that video was for my channel growth and just for my visibility in Ireland, which has led to a lot of other paid opportunities. The Say Yes to the Dress video did make more money on YouTube, but has relatively limited visibility across the Irish market. In fact, being on the actual Say Yes to the Dress television show in Ireland brought me much more visibility than the video about the experience that got a million views. So when discussing YouTube, content creation, revenue generation online, it's not just a black and white issue of how much money one video makes you. The Say Yes to the Dress video did make me the most money I've ever made from one video in the eight or nine years that I've been on YouTube. However, the Shout Irish Girls Say video not only started off my whole YouTube career, but it also opened me up to a lot of opportunity within the Irish media. In the immediate short term after publishing Shout Irish Girls Say, I was on the radio, I was on TV, and in the years to follow, I would continue those relationships and continue to be interviewed and continue to get airtime because of Shout Irish Girls Say. Not only that, but part of the reason I was selected for the Say Yes to the Dress TV show in the first place was because I had a YouTube channel. And I think that they thought that that would be interesting and maybe drive conversation around the show. Often when I meet producers about potential TV opportunities, they cite one video they saw of mine that made them want to work with me. When you talk about YouTube videos and the money that you make on YouTube and the career that you have on YouTube solely in terms of AdSense, I think you're missing out on a number of big factors which play a big part in YouTube success, which is everything except the AdSense money that you make. 
Neither of these videos, by the way, were sponsored. Neither of them had affiliate links. So that's just not a factor here. Last but not least, I think that the Say Yes to the Dress video was a more sustainable type of content. Both types of content are highly repeatable, but I feel like the short sketch format is difficult to repeat over and over. And it's a difficult kind of content to create an audience around. More longer form content where people get to see the real you, where you're telling stories or you're sharing experiences, is a highly repeatable type of content and it also allows the audience to know you a little bit better and I feel it helps them want to come back over and over again. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. I hope you like my new series, Money Talks. I want to make a lot of content helping people earn more money on the internet and showing people how I've earned money on the internet. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below if you have any topics you'd like me to cover. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media. And if you like this content and wanna help support it, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. It really, really helps me out and helps me keep this channel going because not every video is a viral one, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Slan, slan.